Good morning. I'm so glad you're here. We're going to take a stand. Hi, Karen. Welcome home. Take a stand. You're going to be a hands at the heart. Notice how you feel. Take a big breath. Set an intention. And we'll start with our fingertips down and lift up the arms. Now you can take the up to lift up your spine. It's almost like you're going over a big fence. You're tall and over. And you're just warming up the body. You're also getting information. How does my body feel this morning? Oh, and again, inhale and exhale. And a couple more. You notice how it might be getting easier. Now go up and over, and then let's add your hand down. You can cross your foot over, and you're welcome to add a little rotation here. This is your natural movement. You can do uh, hold a place, you can continue to move. If you find a place that feels really good, hold, breathing. Inhaling into that side. You notice you might be able to go a little deeper now. This is great for the shoulders. This is great for the back. Great for the breath. Great for posture. We're going to reach way, way, way up. And then both arms up and over. The hand comes down. You might cross that foot too. Yes. Now you can add on a little rotation. Ah, breathing in that area, inhaling. That a girl, good Ellen. Breathing into any tight spots. If you find a place that feels like you needed a little bit more hold, remember you can drop that shoulder blade down the back too. Five, four, Three, two, take another inhale. Now go all, all, all the way up. Let your legs go out. Now exhale. I'm going to adjust the camera just a little bit, but take your hands down and see if you can just relax here. Shake out the neck if you're having trouble. And you can leave your hands low or you can take them at your low back and start flipping them. And hold, just release any tension. Five, good. Yep, just do the best you can. If your shoulders feel tight, just do the hands low position. Five. Four. Three, two, take one more here, and then all you're going to do is move your hands. They could be between your feet and underneath your shoulders, and you're going to pull on the floor a little bit. Five, shake out any tension to the neck. Four, really good. Three, two, and then one. Walk over to your right leg. Just see what happens. Yep, just kind of walk over and then rest there. So you'll you'll look at the other leg in just a moment. So we're just going to pay attention to this one. Five. Relax your neck. Let your exhale release tension. Four. Three. Two. One more. And then take it over to the other side. You're going to be on that left shin. Five, four, 
four. Three. Two. And inhale. As you exhale, do one more and then walk towards the center and out. This one is called the hammock pose. It's almost like down dog plus your wide pose so your hands are more forward. I'm going to look. Yeah, there you go. Stay there. Your toes can be in of your heels a little bit as well. And you can bend both knees and straighten them a few times, both at the same time. Bend and straighten, bend and straighten, bend and straighten, and then leave them pretty straight. You can stay right here, or if you're craving to do a little up dog here, you can. You do not have to. You can just stay in the hammock. That's up to you, and then you go back to hammock. You pass the plank. You do an up dog. Good, either stay there. Yep, good, Karen, just stay there. You got it. Or you can do this little movement. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. One more, inhale and exhale. And then gently walk your hands more underneath. You're going to leave your right hand down underneath your nose and lift up your left arm. You're a huge windmill. You're going to lift up your left arm and act like you're a big eagle. You have a huge wingspan. You might look up, but if that strains your neck at all, then either look straight ahead or down at that hand. Act like someone's pulling your arm up to the sky. Five, four, three, two, Take another inhale, exhale this other hand down. Now reach the other arm up, you're a huge windmill. You're very light on the bottom hand. It's more about lifting up through the top hand. You can use the bottom hand to gently leverage you. Five, upper back is rotating, four, three, two, Take another inhale. And then exhale to come down. Walk your hands up to your hip bones. Come up halfway. Now this is also for blood pressure. So once you feel like your blood pressure settled, push into the floor and go into a back bend. You can let your hands go into your uh, hip bones. Lift up your heart. Your elbows squeeze towards each other in the back body. This is gonna feel so good. Five. Four, three, your upper back is lifting. Two, now you can step or you can jump your feet together. You choose, it's like a, a mountain lion. Stay there, hands to the heart. Perfect. We're gonna add on, take your right arm up, 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 and go to your right foot. Now this is a balance pose. Your left arm could reach out like you have a cup of soup in it. Ribs down, pubic bone up. And hold, 10. Your heel is probably getting closer to your booty as you stay here. So it's gonna wake up your quad. Nine, stretch it out. Seven, six, five, four, Three, two, now you can push that foot into the hand, 10, nine, eight, good, seven, check your neck, it's soft, six, five, keep lifting, four, keep opening, three, Two, exhale your foot down and your hand at the heart. Really good. 
Let's do the other side. Lift up your arm, go behind and hold onto your foot. Your other arm can reach out. Stand tall. Press, inhale, into your foot. Start pushing, good, out. And breathe. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two. Take another inhale. Now, as you exhale, you're going to slowly, slowly, slowly come back. Beautiful. Lift and spread your toes three times. Lift and spread your toes, two times. Lift and spread your toes, one time, and then take tree. Your foot can go to your calf or your inner thigh. This is a hip opener on the inside up leg. Now either hands to your heart or up, or if you wanna take a shoulder stretch, you can clasp or just do the best you can. Lift up through your jaw. Good, Ellen. to 30, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, inhale, and then on your exhale, we can lower that foot. Your hands can come at the heart. Notice how you feel, so I'm to to heat. Lift up your toes and spread them. Lift up your toes and spread them. And lift up your toes and spread them. And then the other, the, on the, after that one, your foot comes up for tree on the calf or maybe the inner thigh. You're opening up this hip. You're keeping this hip in. Now you could do a palm together or up position, or you could take your cow face here and double stretch your shoulders, jaw this, and hold. I'll keep going, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, sixteen, Six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Inhale, and on your exhale, you can release your hands. Your inhale is going to prepare you for your feet. Your exhale can lower your feet down. That's great. Hold that. Now lift and spread your toes three times again. One, two. And then three, and then we're going to take one of a few postures. It's either right foot over the left, or if you want to lift up your right leg and hover, you can do that. You're going to add a rotation in your upper body. So either right foot over your left or hover, and then take your rotation. Your upper back is rotating. 
Your head goes along for the ride so you don't torque your neck. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, inhale, and on the exhale, face front first, whoops, and then lower your foot. <laughs> Good. All right, so on the other side, lift and spread your toes. Your left foot could go over, or you could lift up your knee about 90 degrees. Then you inhale, and you exhale and rotate. Your hand could be on that thigh if you're doing that variation. Otherwise, just lift your arms up like a T. Good. And then lift up through your jaw. Your hands catch your pelvis, and they help you rotate. Nine. Good. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Good. Your upper back is tall. Three. Your jaw is parallel to the floor. Two. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, open up and then lower your feet down to the floor. Hands come at the heart. Perfect. We're going to take a down dog. So when you're ready, you can take your fingertips down. You can lift your arms up and we're going to meet in the down dog. I probably need to adjust my thing uh, down. And if you need a little coffee in the sip, take it. And then we go into a down dog. Your feet can go into a walking dog where you bend one knee, you bend the other, you bend one knee, and you bend the other. Your right heel gets attention, then your left. And just notice how your neck is. Shake out any tension if you feel anything there. Then you can lift up both heels and lower and lift and lower and lift and lower and then you can press your heels towards the floor five four three two now lower your right knee down take your left foot more behind you take your left arm up and stretch your left arm is up and kind of over your ear your left toes are like behind you and lift up your yeah there you go that's it and even over your head if you want to karen kind of like half moon five four and let that breath just continue to fill up your rib cage three two Take another inhale. Now, as you exhale, your left hand and your left knee can come down. Your right foot comes behind you slightly and your right arm goes up and maybe even behind you a little. Breathe into that rib cage, five. Four. Three, two, take another inhale, and on your exhale, come back to all fours. Now that's the position you can do again. If you want to do that posture again, you're going to take your left arm up and your left foot back and just do a repeat on each side five times. If you want a tiny bit harder, your right foot goes out like side plank, your left foot goes behind you, and then you do a fuller maldrasana. You choose. Hold five. Good. Four. Three. Two, inhale and exhale. If you're doing the full madrasana, you're just going to go to side plank on the other side, right foot back and lift up. Otherwise, you're going to put your knee down and put that top foot ahead of you a little bit. Five, one is modified. That is just fine. Four, 
three, two, take another inhale, and as you exhale, side plank, and then go into a down dog. Press the heels towards the floor. Anytime you need to child's pose, please do. Otherwise, take your left foot and push it on your right heel. Five. Four. Three. Two. Left foot down, right foot on that left heel, and hold. Five. Four. Three. Two. And on the one, both heels come down. If you want it harder, you can lift up your toes. That's going to make it more stretch on your calves. It's very hard to do here, but if you can do it, go for it. Take another inhale. And as you exhale, lower your shins. And at this point, if you want to double your mat underneath your shins, you can. If you want a sip of water or coffee, you can take it. We're going to take a little toe stretch by pulling the toes under. So at this point, the heels are up and down and your toes are pulled under. And I, I just grabbed a sip, so if you want one, grab one. Now the left arm is gonna reach up like you're a windmill. And you can do a couple of things here. Your left hand can be behind you and then the right hand can be behind you. That's a modified um, Ustrasana, it's great. Otherwise, your left fingertips could touch your heel and your right arm could stay up. The third possibility is the right fingertips touch the heel and the left fingertips touch the heel. Please choose which one you need. We're gonna hold 10 counts. So if you're doing a half of one, you'll just switch at the five, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, good, two, now you can bring your arms out and do a child pose, or if your knees don't like to bend, do a puppy dog pose. Five, four, three, two, inhale. And as you exhale, curl the toes under again, and we're gonna do one more set. So either five on each side or 10 total. So you can take your left arm up and hold your heel either a five, five, or both hands back, 10, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Inhale, lift your heart, and exhale, lower down, child's pose. Good, rest, five, four, three, two, and one. Now go into a hands and knees and take a cat cow. You're gonna round your back like a Halloween cat and lift your sternum. Now exhale round and inhale lift. And exhale round. Now you can keep doing this with the shins down or you can curl your toes under and add it knees off the mat, beast, you choose, inhale and exhale. Four more, three more, two, and one. Lower your shins, keep the toes up, go back, and now you're in a child's pose, but you are stretching out your feet for the different changes in the season and the different shoes we wear. It's a good idea to stretch out those feet. Five, four, three, two. Now, wide hands like pieces of pie are between the fingers, downward facing dog. Walk out your dog, bend one knee, bend the other. Those calves are gonna feel better. The hamstrings are feeling better. Neck is soft. Terrific. Both heels press. 
Now walk your toes back a couple of inches away from you and then shift your body weight until you're in a normal elbow down plank, a basic plank. And once you're in plank, you energize your knees. Your forearms are so strong that your shoulder blades are flat on the back. You're feeling your belly lift. Your arms go towards your toes and your toes go towards your arms. In other words, you have an isometric contraction. That doesn't mean the bones really move. You're just adding an extra energy to the abs, maybe 15%. Keep going, you're doing great, five more. Keep the breath, four, three, two. Now, anytime you need a break, please take one. We're gonna take a side plank, lift up that arm, if you need to modify, you can put your knee down. 10. Imagine you're up against a wall or you're in a toaster slot. 8. 7. 6. You have very strong core. 5. Make sure this hip is lifted. You look good. 4. 3. You're very strong on your arm, especially as we transition here. 2. Now, as we transition, keep your arm strong. Go to front plank. Pause. Go to the other side. Open up that arm. And really strong bottom arm, 10, head against the imaginary wall, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Then take another inhale. And as you exhale, let the elbow down and you're back in plank. Hang in there, 10 more. If you need to rest, rest. Nine, good. Eight, seven, six, five. You're doing great. Four, three, two. Rest your pelvis and let your legs go long behind you. This is the Sphinx. Just place your hands on the mat. Pull your belly off the mat and hold the Sphinx. This is a um, this is an upper back extension. If you would like to stay here, stay here. But if you would like to push up into a higher cobra, you can. Wherever you are, glide your shoulder blades down the back. Karen, maybe tuck your chin just a hair. Yeah, does that feel better? Tuck your chin just a hair. See if that feels better. Lift up your belly. You're going to feel your upper back and your arms, but you want to feel those abs helping you. Four. Three. And the breath is nice here. Two, up in the upper back. Lower your spine, we're gonna do it again. So your choices are to do the Sphinx, elbows, or your lifting up Cobra. Shoulder blades are down the back, lift the belly, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Shoulders are down, five, neck feels free. Four, three, two, Lower your spine. We're going to do it one more time. Lift up either sphinx on your elbows or hands help you. 10. Beautiful. Upper back. 9. Yep. 8. Belly lifts. 7. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. Lower your spine, good, and either a child's pose or a down dog, whatever kind of recovery pose you need. Just let your body breathe, just let it shake, rest it, move it, shake it out. Inhale. And then come back down. The belly is down. The fingers are gonna interlace at the low back. If you can, if they do not interlace, just put them beside your hips and lift up your upper back. If you can, lift up your toes, your legs, your knees, and you're lifting up the arms, the upper back, and the legs, or to modify, your hands are beside your hips. And another way to modify is toes are on the ground. And lift, inhale, exhale, lift, four, three, two, now we're going to take the other hand. So just take your other way, your fingers interlace, lift up. And upper body, legs, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, 
two, rest. Now you can do that again, or you can bend your knees and hold on to your feet, your ankles. So if that doesn't feel good, hold on to your hands at the low back or leave them beside you. you it doesn't matter. Lift up. The main thing is your upper back has an extension. Ten. Nine. Yeah. Eight. Good. Press hard into your hands if you want more. You won't feel like the hands move that much, but you're going to really work the quads, the back. Five. Stretching four. The upper body. Three. Two. Relax any way you need to. And if you need a child's pose, please do. We're gonna do one more of these bow poses. Push your feet into your hands and lift up. It's gonna feel great. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, Recover with a child's pose, and if you'd like, make it knee wide. Also, if you want a sip of drink, take it before the child or after the child pose. And rest. Five, four, three, two. We'll take another inhale. And then as you exhale, take a downward facing dog, spread out your hands like pieces of power between them, walk it out. Both heels down. And then shift the weight to the forearms and you can let your arms come down. You're going to take a side plank with a possible tree position. If you're doing tree, your left foot could be on your calf, your inner thigh, or the floor. Ten. Nine. Either way, it's fine. Eight. Seven. Six. Good. Five. Four. Three. Two. Let this hand down. Now you're going to pass through front plank. Go to your side plank and you can put yourself in a tree. Calf, inner thigh, or floor with that foot. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, both feet down, elbows down, and hold. Uh, if you'd like to lift up your right foot for a count of five, you can. If you need to stay put, you can. Five, four, three, good, Karen, two. Lower that foot and lift up the other one. Five, four, three, two, lower the foot. Now we're going to shift our weight and do one of three postures. So I'll tell you all three. One is the frog. If that's not it, it's bound angle seated. You can even sit on a pillow here. And if that's not it for you, then it's bound angle lying. So please choose which one feels like your muscles can relax. I am going to do a little tilt, I think, just a tiniest bit. All right, I like, I like it. Very good. Good. And then you're just going to try to relax everything that doesn't need tightening. Let everything go. Thank you. 
And just keep relaxing in the inner thighs, relaxing in the hips. Take 10 more counts here. You're going to take another inhale and as you exhale gently come back up and assume a downward facing dog so any way you need to get on your mat you can do that if you need to sit take it we're going to do a hip opener next and there'll be two options so down dog is just a great way to get some blood flow to get your calves length of the densest muscle per square inch in the body so they always like it. I like it now because of the seasonal change with our shoe change. Your next releases, you get blood flow to your brain, which doesn't get as much blood as the other organs. So we need that with exercise to prevent cognitive decline. Take an inhale. And on your exhale, either do the pigeon, which is right leg up, right leg forward, or, so you can do this, or you can do this, the lying down figure four. So please choose what you need, one of the two. And if you're in figure four, you might like a pillow. And if you're in pigeon, you're up for a bit. Nice, Ellen, your elbows are soft just so that we don't hyperextend them. Good, yeah, that's it. They get used to being in a soft place. Good, that's it, Karen, you want that pillow? It's gonna feel great. And you're gonna just notice, those of you that are in pigeon can go down. Those of you that are in the figure four can either roll your ankle or rock a little. There's, or you could do both. You just notice what you need. You're going to be down if you're in pigeon. You're going to be maybe moving your ankles. They're free here. Now, if those of you that are down can come up, those of you that are in the regular pigeon can spread the toes. If you do want to add on a foot hold, you can. Totally up to you. Five, four, three, two, and when we're ready, we're going to exhale and either do a down dog. And if you're in the line pigeon, you're going to take the other side. So if you're in down dog, you can lift up that leg and take the other side for a pigeon. Good. Your elbows are soft. Good. You might be able to reach your hands through Karen. Good. Elbows are soft. Chest and shoulders are open. Good. Now, if you're up in pigeon, you might go down. If you're in lying pigeon, you might roll your ankles, spread your toes, point and flex, or even rock the hips.
four. And three. And two. Now you're welcome to come up and even grab that foot or grab the both uh, hands on the foot. Yep, otherwise you can release your hips, Karen. Great, five, four, three, two, and then on the one, um, we're gonna take a down dog and we're heading towards a seated position. So Karen, if you want to start with your, you know, kind of, come, yep, come up and put your legs out in front. Both heels are down. If you're in down dog, you're going to look at your hands and step or jump up. We are going to sit down for a moment on our booty. I'm turning sideways so you can see me. Oh, also, if you want to sit, grab it. But we're going to take the rack posture. You notice our bias posture, 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 uh, so that we don't get rounded upper backs. Lift up, up, up or rounded shoulders. So your elbows are gonna be soft here. Lift your heart. You're barely using your hands. It's not like you're hanging out on them. You're just using them to keep your place to lift up your upper back. Good. Okay, elbows are softer than you think because they're behind you. Good. Breathe into that upper back. Feel your chest and shoulders safely. Stretching. Five. Four, three, two, take another inhale, and as you exhale, fire those abdominals and bring yourself up to neutral. We're going to use our abs for about 20 seconds to do a very controlled roll down. Take an inhale, and as you exhale, roll one, two, Three, like someone took an ice cream scoop down your belly. Four, five, and it's round, it's pulling in. Seven, 10, 13, 16, 18. Full body stretch on the 20, big arms overhead. Shift through your arms, shift through your legs while keeping the knees straight. And it's like you're climbing a ladder on the floor. Draw your feet down on the mat. Do exhale to use your fanny and your glutes to go into a bridge. This is the first option. If you wanna add on, your hands can interlace underneath your back. Those of you that are craving a full back bend are welcome to go into that too. So up to you. If you're doing full back bend, your fingertips go to your shoulders and then you lengthen your elbows and we'll hold. Just enjoy five, four, Three, two, you're gonna, when you're ready, slowly release your shoulders and up the, behind your back and then lower your spine down. Now the left foot's on the floor. You're gonna take your right knee over like you're sitting in a chair and crossing your legs. Now, if you can, hook your toes underneath that ankle and then take the knees to the left Take your arm to the right and you have an, a twist. So basically take a twist, look towards the right hand, that a girl. And if you need pillows to prop you up, do. If you need it harder, pull those knees more underneath you and enjoy. Or maybe you have another rotation that you really like. That's fine. Just enjoy. And 10. And eight. And seven. And six. And five. And four. And three. 
and two. So just notice how your back feels. You're gonna slowly realign your spine. You're gonna take your left leg over and hook your toes. Take your knees over. Your, your left arm can go out like a T. Your right hand might hold your legs down like a paperweight. Just release through that shoulder, release through the upper back, release through the lower back and the hips. We'll take another inhale. And as you exhale, gently come back into neutral. Realign your spine. And if you have a, a, hand, a little band, you can use that or a Pilates ring or a towel around your foot. You can do a hamstring stretch here. With, if you don't, just use your hand, that's fine. All right, pull in, good. Good job, hold there. The belly of the muscle gets the stretch. Never the knee, never the sit bone. You can even take that leg across the body a little bit. Anywhere you need to go out a little bit or a lot. Just enjoy that your body can each time you exhale, relax more. Your face, your eyes, your scalp. And you're welcome to take your other foot into that strap and lower that leg. Feel the other hamstring stretching. Shoulder relaxes, your back relaxes, the hamstring, you can take that leg across a little bit.
You might even take it out to the side a little or a lot. And keep going. Just going to pull the camera in a little bit. Yeah. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And you can take both legs out like a big V, inner thigh stretch, roll your ankles, you can move and point them. You're gonna feel like your inner thighs that cross the knee get a stretch. Five, four, three, two. And then just take a full body stretch, shake it out, release any tension in your feet, release any tension in your arms, release any tension in your body and start heading to a Shavasana. Let go of everything, flop down to the ground and just take a moment to let your body sink like sand on a beach. And you can imagine you're in a high mountain setting and the aspen have turned golden. The leaves are shaking and they're quaking. So the, the aspen are earning their name, the, the quaking aspen, they're shaking with the wind and the Golden leaves are drifting down to the floor and covering the ground like golden potato chips or golden coins. And just keep letting your cells go just like your cells are golden leaves relaxing to the floor. You can see white aspen around and hear the breeze shaking the aspen leaves in the clean air, the blue sky. And just notice that sense of peace. Begin to awaken the fingers and the toes and come up towards the seated position. And we'll take a little Havening. So you're going to take one hand over the other. This is a calming technique to create delta brain waves. So you're gently taking one hand over the other. You're flipping the hands and just notice how it feels. All this is to help parasympathetic system, brain, brain, brain wave activity. The brain, uh, when it's stressed out, gets unhealthier on pets on scans. So we're making it healthy making the nervous system healthy. Take the hands from shoulder to elbow and just notice how that feels. This is the second technique in that havening. Creating delta brain activities, feel that sense of calm. Notice how the touch feels. And one more. And the third is from the fingertips under where the eyebrows meet. Just smooth out your eyebrows and then go underneath your eyes and then out to the temples and down your jaw till your chin, till the middle of your chin. And then again in the eye over the eyebrows, underneath the eyes, out to the temples and down. And again, just notice how that feels. This is at your own pace too. Down your jaw. When you get to your cheek, you start over in between the eyes and just notice how it feels. Feel how the soothing is, uh, that's how it's soothing on your brain, your nervous system. Two. And one. And then just notice how everything feels and you can place your hands on your heart and just see what intention comes to mind for how you wanna create the next few hours of your day, a segment intending. So you're creating the theme that you want to create uh, for your next few hours. Mine's going to be to have total presence. And appreciation for all that I see and have in here in my presence. You can choose whichever you'd like to be your intention. And this is a way to create your reality as opposed to being responsive and reactive. So take a moment and when you're ready, let your eyes open and come back into the room with much care. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you guys. Bye.